going on everyone welcome rabbit here and today i'm gonna try to answer the question that i get a lot where do you find spec mineable coins and where do you find them so early so i'm going to kind of go through some of the steps to look for as well as triggers and what to kind of do here now before i get into this i want to put out an urgent warning that is with a spec mineable coin that means it is not yet listed on an exchange no one really knows about it while well, there's probably going to be a lot more being found a lot sooner now after you guys watch this video because now you'll have the tools in your arsenal to do so but you know you got to keep in mind you're going to have to download the wall and with a new coin that no one knows about you there's the chance there if you guys could get hacked it could steal other coins and other various wallets that you have on your computer so utilize a vm a virtual machine or spin up maybe you have a mini node box or you know a mini pc or something else with no information on it use one of those and you can take the next step in security and maybe isolate that from your network as well so make sure you try to do these things because i don't want any of you guys to get hacked so let's find out what to do all right guys so step number one is head on over to my discord and join up there's always a lot of people constantly on the lookout for new and new coins as well as we're a community everyone's trying to help each other so we got that going for everybody so be sure to join that link is down in the description and if you can't get through the capture bot or something send me a dm and i'll try to make sure you're not a bot and then i can bypass you through so step number one join my discord guys because we get on a lot of early coins very very early and it's free all right so step number one here in finding new coins here we do have one tool here this is mining pool stats now i'm pretty sure most of you guys already know about this website it has a list of all the coins and honestly by the time you find it on mining pool stats you're probably already too late so let's just click on the new coin tab here and we can see all the current new listed coins now some of these they have already maybe been out for like a month or two and then finally get listed here so like i said you may already be too late by the time you find something now there are times when day one blockchain they do submit to mining pool stats and you can get them early so that's why i'm putting this tool here but majority of the time mining pool stats it, you're just going to be behind the ladder and people already have millions of coins by the time you even see it here now another tool you can use is the art plant pool now again you may be a little bit late when our plan actually or whenever you find it or when they finally list it too sometimes they're a thousand blocks in before they do list new coins but what you do is you go into the dashboard here and usually you know when it comes to cpu mining a lot of the gr forks happen on our plant pretty early and you know way before mining pool stats get them but you can just sort by algo here and we're just going to use actually right here and you can see gr coins so what you do is you come over here and look at the height so height means your block height how many blocks have been mined so far and as we scroll down here we can see there's nothing new at least on the ghost rider side of things cpu but you can go through kapow and all sorts of coins they have but find something that has a very low block height usually means it's a pretty new coin and then you do the research you know how long's the block block times and so on then you can kind of get an idea of how long the blockchain has been live now one of the largest resources you can have is this one right here this is a form from bitcointalk.org so dot org and usually if there's a new coin coming out it'll be listed here even before mainnet hits even before a test net hits so this is one of your main tools to look for new coins we have everything and we have caspa was listed here before it even released you know zeph was listed here before it released uh, ethereum was here early on bitcoin was listed here before it even went live so also you know a lot of, i don't even know what to say right now but there's a lot of resources happening right here when looking for a lot of new coins so again this is bitcoin talk Dot org. All right, so now I'm going to kind of talk about triggers a little bit. Now, what is a trigger? A trigger is, you know, what's going on, what's happening. Well, maybe it's not 100% a trigger. I'm calling it a trigger because that's the first thing that popped in my head. So give me a break here, guys. But I'm going with trigger here. And let's say you're mining a coin. Then all of a sudden, the hash rate just disappears out of nowhere for no reason. I'm going to use Zephyr as an example. I'm not saying anything's going on with a random X coin or anything. I'm going through the steps on, say, your mining coin. It could be a Kapow coin. It doesn't matter it could happen so let's say we're mining zef you know the hash rate's been around two and a half to three giga hash then all of a sudden it drops down to like 1.95 or one and a half giga hash 
where did all the hash rate go? Well, one, you got to kind of get an idea of what type of hardware you're on. CPUs, it could be a botnet. They could have got shut down. That happens quite a bit. And large chunks of hash get turned offline. Another thing is maybe a new random X or possibly a different CPU mineable coin just emerged and a whole bunch of hash took off. Because keep in mind, when you are mining on these things, a lot of hash can be rented as well. And that could be used. And all of a sudden, it gets rented and pointed elsewhere. You see huge hash drops fall off chains again i'm just using that for an example not saying anything is happening on random x right now because i'm not sure if there really is or not it's just an example so all of a sudden a bunch of hash rate disappears so now we're going to go into a couple different platforms here and see what may be happening we're going to start with nice hash for an example here you can come into the profitability calculator maybe look up a 3900x you can look up a gpu you know a 3700 whatever you can look or 3070 i mean look up anything and see if the profitability is spiking on that said hardware right now it's only about 71 cents so that's about average obviously it's not 30 cents like it was for a long time on nice hash but what nice hash is it's a rental program so what happens here is people rent your hash and they point it to an algorithm so coming into this for an example here let's say bitcoin spiked all of a sudden or etc spiked or litecoin spiked or it'll say monero here for the cpus because it's random x so it doesn't mean that this coin or this coin or even bitcoin is exploding even though they might be it's just due to the fact this is the main algorithm our main coin on set algorithm like Litecoin is script, but you can mine or rent your hash rate for any of the algorithms. So a new script coin could come out. It could be saying Litecoin is worth billions of dollars per you know giga hash here, but it's not mining Litecoin. There could be a new spec mine out there happening on the script algorithm. It's just that Litecoin is the main coin for script. So that means there's a hash rate explosion happening. People are renting hardware for something and we got to figure out what it is. Another platform that you can bounce around to is mining rig rentals. This is another rental thing, just like nice hash. A lot of people actually like this one better, but again, I haven't tried this one though, but I do plan on checking it out here sometime soon. But you can look in again i'm in random x we can see that there's 228 available rigs 862 mega hash for random x which is a nice chunk of hash rate there and there's 135 rented at 15.77 mega hash. so obviously we can see all the rigs are not rented there's a lot of hash rate sitting so nothing's happening on this algorithm now you can pick multiple algorithms down here and we'll just scroll down here let's find something like ghost let's go k heavy hash or oh this is just heavy hash so this is not k heavy hash but we can see there's zero rented rigs and there's 80 available no demand happening on that coin at all We'll just try to find uh, random x here i was on random x let's just see where is ghost rider how come i can't find it is there a searcher oh there is a search so i'm just gonna go gr and it didn't pop up so let's go ghost ghost rider right there so right here we can see there's 117 available rigs and there's only six rented so nothing major is happening there's no new gr fork or something because what happens when that is is rigs will start getting rented out so we'll see that Pretty much all the rigs are renting. And then obviously here, look at the last price per kilohash. How much are people renting them for? Kind of find a calculator, go to coin market stats, figure out what the BTC value of this number is. And if it's looking like a lot of money, something is happening either on a set GR coin that's already released, we all know about, like maybe Raptoriums pumping to 50 cents or something crazy, or a new fork emerge and people are trying to get hash asap so now we got to start digging in and that's where we'll go back and look at bitcoin talk form or something like that and see what coin is brand new as we can see there's a bunch of news here usually it's just a new post that we've seen but that's pretty much it guys so those are pretty much the tools you can go through and kind of figure out what's happening yourself you can figure out if there's a high demand happening somewhere if there's a massive rental spree going on and you know just fomo 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 so that's kind of how I look at things, how other people do look at things as well. And there's probably a few other tools out there that I'm not really aware of yet, but I'll find them eventually. So thank you for checking out this video, guys. Hopefully it helps you out in finding spec mineable coins. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.